Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back. We are going to be doing a TJ Maxx haul. You guys, the hubby took me shopping this weekend. We had a blast. He is so good to me, you guys. I, this man is unbelievable. He just, he loves to go shopping with me and we love to just kick around. We do garage sales together. And um, this time he took me to another city, um, kind of close to ours. And we went down and we hit a TJ Maxx and I hit the mother load. It was so awesome, you guys. So I'm gonna show you what I got. And I'm also gonna show you a couple other things that I'm super excited about. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I'd love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family. Okay, I do have a couple of things in this video that I did not pick up from TJ Maxx, but I wanted to share them with you. I found something really cool on Amazon. I haven't even gotten it out of its package yet, but I thought this was an awesome idea. You guys have probably seen it before on somebody else's channel, but I just happened upon it. This is a spatula to get down into your foundations or your concealers to get the last drop in the bottom. And they have a, a smaller one that you can use. And you can also scrape out like a lipstick that you've hit the bottom of that you love or a lip gloss or something like that. So I just thought that that was a really cool little invention. Let me show it to you one more time. It just is like a spatula that you would, a rubber spatula that you would use in the kitchen when you're scraping your bowls, but we're scraping our makeup out. <laughs> a couple of things that came to me through an Ulta order is an LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense um, Stay Auto Lip Liner. I do like this a lot, but it is a really smooth, really beautiful formula. And so I will would recommend that you have used it a couple of times. And then the Glossy Plumping Lip Gloss. Okay, this has a little bit more of a bite to it than the Buxom would. I would say that this probably, does it have a smell? It has kind of a vanilla -y smell, but it, when I got it on, it felt like the, act, the activator or whatever you want to call it for the plump for the plumping is more along the lines of maybe a cinnamon or something like that. And this one just goes on clear, as you can see right next to the liner right there. It just went on clear, but it, it is a nice gloss. It's not super tacky or anything like that. I also wanted to tell you guys, if you guys like the L'Oreal Infallible Single Eyeshadows, which I love these, you guys. They're so beautiful. Let me just show you this one. These are on sale right now at Walmart for half price and they are on sale on walmart.com and I just absolutely love every one that I have got from there. The, they are all metallic so you guys know they're packed down like this with a little stopper on top of them so they almost act like a loose powder so be real careful when you're opening it and whatnot you don't want it to fly everywhere. That something I did before, but yes, they're really good. And I've been getting several of them at half price. So I think that they're not necessarily discontinuing the line, but some of the colors are going out and they were so pretty. Okay. All the rest of this stuff in here is stuff that I got from TJ Maxx. All right. So this is glow your way from Laura Geller. I got a lot of Laura Geller in here, you guys. As a matter of fact, most of it is, but I love Laura Geller. I have used her stuff for as long as I can remember when I used to be a QVC nut, like 15, 20 years ago, I was using it. This is a huge one of her diamond dust. This is like double or triple the size of the little pots. As a matter of fact, I can show you right here. This is the little pot and then this is the big one. This is a diamond dust too, which already has a dent in it for me. But this is one of the prettiest um, kind of shifting, dual chrome shifting highlighters I've ever seen. It's just absolutely intensely beautiful. And I'm gonna put some on for you guys. It is, it's got like, it shifts between peach and pink and it is just who baby it is so pretty it is one of those that i have just loved ever since i got it i haven't had a chance to use the lip gloss very much but, but it's got that same little bit of an iridescence kick to it too so it's really pretty so that was the first thing i got these this was 6.99 and then i ran into the real deal concealer full coverage this is this is serious coverage, you guys. I had forgotten all about this and found it in there and I almost died. And I was like, I can't believe that I forgot about this. This, you know the Tarte Creaseless Concealer that I'm talking about all the time in my videos? This is better, it's better. Okay, you need such a teeny tiny amount. I mean, literally, I used a teeny tiny amount. It's so creamy, it will go and it will completely 
completely do your under eyes. It's what I have on today. I just am so glad that I found this. I've been using it for about a week now and it's just, it's outstanding. And I got it, I think it's $22 on the website and I got it for three bucks, three ninety nine. dollars so you can't beat that. Another one I got from there is a discontinued item. However, if you find this, I think it's completely worth it. Now on the outside, I assume this was for the holidays. On the outside, it has a $35 price tag and I got it again for $6.99 and it's got three of her, whoops, there goes the little plastic piece. It's got three of her most iconic um, baked products in here that she uses. You have a nice little mirror right here so you could throw this in your purse and have it as a touch up thing. But it has a blush which is in tropical hues and then a highlighter which isn't a super intense highlighter. It's almost like the highlight, the pure nude highlighter that I love so much from Essence and then it's got the medium bronzer in there and you guys I just think it's so pretty just absolutely beautiful and this blush right here has a sheen in it and then you have that highlighter which like I said it's more along the lines of being a very very soft highlighter so if you guys do find that make sure that you pick it up because I think that is really worth the money and then from um, Laura Geller I also got the baked color and contour I know that this one you can still get on QVC and it's $45 so this one has baked in there three different things so again, you get the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. So there's the, the highlighter and then the blush and then the bronzer. I really do enjoy the bronzer on this because it's not like a bronzer that is too orange. It has a lot of pink mixed in there with all the other colors. So this one was, I was so excited to find that one. All right, I found a Becca blush, you guys. I think these Becca blushes, I don't wanna completely misspeak, but I know that they're over $25. And this one was $7.99. I wanna say that they're in the $30 range range more more than likely this one is in the color flower child I've never tried one of these before I've never had one before but it's so pretty this and is a matte satin finish and I really liked the pink pinkish coral color of it it was just really pretty and I was just shocked that I actually found one they did have several other colors of these so if you're by your TJ Maxx um, check that out and see if you can find that really good bargain on that from pixie beauty I found their cat eye ink um, this one is $5.99. I'll throw the actual price up here. This one, you guys, this is not something that I enjoyed. I actually am really disappointed in this. I couldn't get this one to go on top of my eyeshadows after I'd been done my eyes. So I'm actually not going to say go ahead and get that one. Just skip over it. And then this one is called Wide Awake. It's the Pixie by Petra Crayon Combo. You can use this one as $4.99. You can use these for anything. One side is a matte cream and then the other side is the highlighting cream uh, stick. So I really love the Wet n Wild um, brow product that is in the stick formula that I use to do, you know, right up underneath my eyebrows. I have a Benefit Highbrow. Um, I have both formulas, the pearlescent one, and then also just the cream matte, uh, more along the lines of a matte cream one. And this one is kind of just the same concept. So you're gonna be able to use it as a base to your makeup if you want to. You're gonna be able to highlight under your brow if you want want to um, anything like that the, this one right here for the pearl is really good for doing the inner corner if you want to do it that way really great for that and if you're one that likes that little bit of a highlight right above your cupid's bow you could really get in there precision wise because you can sharpen these so this was a really good find i thought too and then last but not least i was so excited to find these two from buxom these are the full on plumping lip polishes. They were $5.99 each and these are $20 in the stores, you guys know. And I just was like, this is like less than a drugstore lip gloss. So I got these two colors right here and they're both very pearlescent. They just give like a lip topper color to your lips. If you guys have never had one before, they are very, um, cooling on the lips. It's almost like a menthol camphor, camphor feeling with a much yummier smell on it. So they're just, they're really pretty. One thing I will say that I thought was really weird about this, this isn't the doe foot applicator. It's almost like they missed the doe foot applicator. And so it's a little piece of plastic. It's very flexible, but I wondered if that's why they were here because maybe the whole batch messed up. But 
I'm not going to worry about that for the price. You could even, you know, take it out and, you know, put it on your finger and go ahead and put it on your lips if you wanted to. But that's it, you guys. Those are all the goodies I found. I was so excited to be able to share with you guys. I can't believe the things that are in TJ Maxx lately. If you do have a TJ Maxx around you and you go in and you don't find anything, here's my little tip for you. Go up and ask one of the ladies or somebody there that's working what day they get their freight and go in the very next day or even go in later that day. Ask them, you know, about what time do you put out your freight? And they are so nice about telling you all that. And that's what you do is you hit it on the day right after they have their freight so that you get all the fresh stock and you can see what they have. So that's my little tip for you guys. There is a lot of Too Faced stuff in there too right now. Um, I did find a couple of Too Faced things last time I was there, but I didn't find any this time. But really, it's a great place to shop. You never know what you're going to get. And, you know, some of these things may be discontinued, but they're not expired. They, they can't sell expired items. They're not expired. So just really fun shopping trip with me and my hubby. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. When you're seeing this, I might already be done with my surgery. So I hope everybody is doing really well. I love you very much and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.